Hey there, I'm author Shannon Reber, and this is Genre's Bookshop Podcast, and we're back together again! Hi, back guys! <laughs> my cat's gonna bite my elbow. Yay! Congratulations! Well, I mean, you say that, but who knows? Maybe Jules will decide that biting elbows is, is an important part of the she, meeting. She, I move too fast. She couldn't <laughs> handle it. Yeah. Oh, she didn't like that. <laughs> she doesn't like people making quick movements. Oh, I see, one of I see. Why she likes me. I don't really make a lot of quick movements. <laughs> Very important. <laughs> and when you do, you set her off. Oh. Yeah, it's like. Slappy. <laughs> nope, nope. <Ta-da. laughs> okay. All right. So okay. it's been a long right, time since serious. we actually, it since has we been actually a long did time. this podcast thing. I mean, right. we recorded well, I mean, we one... did it a yeah. couple weeks ago. But... Yeah, we, yeah, re- we but recorded one a couple weeks work. ago, and for some reason, Zoom deleted it. So, fingers crossed, this one will actually uh, be be recorded, and all will be well. So, yeah. everyone hope, cross your fingers, do a little prayer, uh, say a little rain dance, something like that, whatever. <laughs> but, uh, so, okay, so uh, I have a bunch of books. Ryan uh, read one that uh, I I have not read yet, and Andy, I have no clue what you've been reading. So, you me I, neither. Uh, <laughs> cereal boxes. Yeah. yeah cereal box Pretty is the much. best. Yeah, that's um, where I learned how to read <laughs> cereal boxes. Yeah. Um. What is it called? Manuals, like instruction <gasps> manuals. Yes. Yes. Level. Yes. There you go. Can't get enough of them. Really. <laughs> Just my jam. Yeah, reading reading math problems. That's that's your thing now, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> man, man, I know. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, right. See the the word problems I know were hates where math. I was actually good in math. Ah, see. If there was a story related, I could actually do it. But that once I got a uh, to geometry, there was no story that I could oh. wrap around that, and I struggled uh, with math because there were no word problems. Yeah, that's a uh, that's <laughs> that's what I teach. It's geometry. I know. I know. So I'm so I'm gonna sorry. have to I'm have to, gonna have to get some lessons from you. <laughs> yeah, I'm a great teacher. Yeah, I was so, teaching so geometry. The story of. There is a triangle that has twenty seven. <laughs> like that, that's that's not a story. A magical for you. triangle. Oh my that's, that's a good story. <laughs> I was you actually know. showing someone today, one of my uh, a coworkers, and he was like, "Man, like I've never really been able to understand the Pythagorean theorem. Like, where does it even come from? You know, like what what does it even mean?" And I was like. I got you. So I drew him a picture and I had these trials. Like if we go to the same point on everything and then if we rearrange everything and I explain the whole thing to him. And when I got done, he was like, see, that would help me so much while I was in school. Like now I understand it, but I don't need it anymore. No, I I don't need it. Exactly. Exactly. Fun to know. Now you just file that away and and be proud of yourself for understanding something. Exactly. Be a more more well-balanced person at a dinner party. (laughs) <laughs> exactly it's, a, it's my thing yay for yeah. personal growth yay congratulations yeah. <laughs> okay all right all right but uh all right. Since, since i already know what ryan is reading i think we need to talk about what ryan is what ryan read yes what, that oh it? my freedom what you first yeah it's you go go tell us tell us oh no i, I read uh the teacher by frida mcfadden okay and uh it was my first ever Frieda McFadden book. And I was telling Shannon that uh, I see her books everywhere now. I like going to Walmart. There's like, I don't know, 10 or 12 titles just of yeah. her at Walmart. Yeah. It's and Walmart, crazy. Yeah. So, yeah. So it what's the book about? Book, the, what, what? It's about, I don't know. I don't have the book in front of me, so I don't want to give away too many spoilers. <laughs> but uh, it's about an inappropriate relationship with a student and a teacher but oh, it's I've more heard of this one. Yeah, it's, it becomes like I a web of yeah. And there was inappropriate relationships and stuff. And I can't. It's hard can't for me to read. Yeah. It's yeah. so weird for me. Yeah. Yeah. So But it happens all too often. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, unfortunately. It really yeah. does. And like some of these kids, like <clears throat> not like trying to throw any of my kids under the bus, but like <laughs> there were there were a couple like there was an incident at our district a while back that was like they had to put one of the teachers in jail because they found out he was like exploiting some of the little boys 
And no they were in like middle school and stuff. And now some of these are my students and they try to like, they're like, I guess to battle the shame of it or something. They're like, but I consented. So, and I was like, uh, consent. Like, hey, honey, you know you're under means. the age of you're a child. Your yeah, there is nothing. And yeah. my, um, I'll be, and I'll be blunt with my students. They're like, Miss Smith. What do you think about adults who try to do things with kids? And I'm like, they should be burned at the stake in the middle of the town. Thank you. And, yeah. And they were, I, uh, they were like, oh, my your, gosh. Yeah. Yeah. And, and they said, well, what what if the child consented? The child can't consent. OK. What if the parent exactly. consented? Well, then the parent, then the parent also needs, needs to, go to, to be jail. burned. Yeah. 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 At the stake in the middle mm -hmm. of the town square. Amen. That's what we no. need to do with all of them because children are children uh -huh. and they're precious and they need to be, they need to feel safe. Yeah, and, exactly. And we yeah. can't yeah. like, I just, they're going to grow up like those kids who are even trying to say right now, like I consented, blah, 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 blah. they're going to be in their thirties and it's going to finally hit them. And exactly. they're going to be like, Oh my gosh, I can't believe like, yep. I, don't, I don't want that to like, they need to break the cycle before right. they have their own children and they're going to carry that trauma with them. And it's not going to hit them right. until it's, you know, later in life, but like right. burn yeah. them. Yeah, exactly. I'm with you. Okay, That's how so, I feel about so it. Maybe Ryan, just... Ryan, with with that book though, did they did mm -hmm. they go into any of the uh, this is evil uh, type things? Yeah. Or... Oh yeah. I mean, they yeah, they I'm totally hit to all those you know things, but it okay. just was still uncomfortable to read. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah, of course. Is it like an was autobiography I... or is no, it no, just no? Like it's totally just the... Freedom McFadden. Okay. Totally yeah. Fiction. Maybe ripped from the headlines or whatever. Yeah. Freedom okay. McFadden but tends no. to write stories where you don't like anybody. They're all yeah, horrible of, in some way. None of the characters I were all had huge flaws. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And maybe like the one character was a minor character was actually redeemable, but you didn't really get, they didn't really develop his character. He was just yeah. a side. He had his plot, then boom. Yeah. Right. That See, I, I, I see people uh, talking about Freedom McFadden all the time, and I, oh. I just, I only sometimes like her books. There, there's been a few the last few times that I've read them that I was so disappointed because, like, one, it was too obvious because she has a certain way that she writes, and so once you know the way she writes, you can figure out the ending in a finger snap. Okay. See, and, yeah, it's just my first one. So. Okay. Okay. So yeah, I mean, but, I mean, I'm, and, I, I like her books sometimes. Yeah, but. and her books, I mean, like, like I was talking with you, they're really they're chunky, but the chapters are so short exactly. that you can like easily digest. You can just read them in like five minutes and like at your office or whatever. Read. Yeah. Go back. So yeah. Right. Well, I, with I mean, the book, with the books that's that uncomfortable, I'm guessing that would be a, a, an easier way to read it. Yeah. They just have a little yeah, chunk. I, I, I have read another book that's similar, but a little, but more graphic. And that one, yeah, that one, that one was rough. I had to put down and walk away a couple times. Oh, okay. what was that? that one wasn't the priest, was it? No. You, you made it through the priest. You were okay with that one. No. That well, one was fine. That, that was between two. Cons yeah, yeah, like, yeah, let's oh, not. Yeah, let's yeah. not. I don't no. Know that. no. But, yeah. Rehash that one. They were past the I'll priest. I'll never forget. Uh, Stop. Ah! I, okay. But no, this <laughs> this one was this one was bad. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay, so um if you were giving it a rating, what would you give it? Oh. Out of ten, what would you give it? Oh out of ten, okay. Um a seven point six. Okay, that's higher than I figured. Yeah, okay. I mean it was good. It's but like the ending felt rushed. The twist was a little too quick for my okay. liking, and then okay. yeah. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So is, is, is she a, an author that you would pick up again after reading this one? I think so. But okay. now that you're saying she kind of has a pattern, maybe like two might be, then you figure it out. Well, see that that's just or me though. That I'm, I'm like yeah. that. I, I figure out endings way too quickly. Yeah. So it, I like I'm to go very with this. When I read, surprised. I like to visualize it and go with the story. Yeah. Are you a skipper or a header? Never. Never, never. Okay. Ever. I know people that are, and I mm -hmm. shun them. I shun <laughs> them. Do that. 
<gasps> One of my friends Why? who's a librarian. Blasphemous. Seriously? A librarian? She's a librarian. <gasps> she reads ahead. It's sacrilege. Yeah. It is sacrilege. Yeah. So She's, wrong. She is she reads I mean she'll get <laughs> there, but she has to know now. See, my friend Dan like, she'll read uh, it. my, my like friend Dan was telling me that his daughter reads read the last it, but... chapter. Hey, my, my friend Dan told me that his daughter uh, reads the last chapter first. And he is an author. Really? <laughs> I, this one is of the things terrible. I stopped, <laughs> one of the things I stopped reading is all the prefaces. I just read oh, like where really? it starts. Yeah, I don't. Mm -hmm. I'm skipping the prefaces. Yeah. Do you skip the prologue too? Um, I just kind of want to start where the story starts because yeah. sometimes you get that other inf like sometimes the preface is like just the author telling about the story. No, 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 no. Right. See, that's not right. generally true. That is Stephen King. Stephen yeah. King does that, and it drives me nuts. Uh, well, but I think then, probably, uh, that's usual, how it's supposed to be done. Preface, I would assume. Mm -mm. That's not actually what a preface is. Look it up. I promise. That's okay. not. <laughs> okay. Well, I've been. I just like want to read from not. where the story starts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, okay. I would, I would yeah. read, I would read a Stephen King like uh, comment afterward, but I don't want to read a, a letter from Stephen King to the reader beforehand. It, it yeah. that actually turns me off. I mean, he's all his books start that way. <gasps> I know. <I> don't. <laughs> <laughs> the fake barf. Is it really that bad? I am it not a fan. I'm just not a fan. I don't. I don't like it. Rather I guess for me it just that. depends. Like I, I would probably like, you know, if I started reading something and I was like, oh, this is for me. This has nothing to do with the story. I would probably skip it. But if it starts out like maybe with some background of like the native tribes of guadalupe or something like that I'd be like, it. mm -hmm. it's, it's more fun that way maybe maybe it's so if it starts talking about like background or something I'll read. we're all we're on we're all on this adventure together Let's yes yes exactly yeah. <laughs> okay adventure andy what fun. about you what have you been reading mm -hmm. Okay, so obviously Harry Potter, but like clearly we're at, yes, we're at the end of the fourth <laughs> book. I actually handed the book to Eden the other day, like the physical copy. I was like, "This is the book me and Dad are reading," and she goes, "Like she looked at like, seven hundred and thirty-four pages." I was like, "It's a big book." <laughs> so, but we've been reading that, and we find like like just finding out because you know, like the third one kind of deviates a lot but not in a bad way okay. not in the way the fourth one does from right. the movie is what i'm yes. talking about yes 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 and so the fourth one gosh leaves out so much good stuff ah. and jed's listening and he's like why did they leave this out and i'm like finally i know right <laughs> and so we're just laying there like nerding in bed and of course <laughs> jed's favorite character is cedric diggory and oh no, that's he was like, I shed a tear when he cried. No, he didn't. He's <laughs> such a don't take him seriously. He doesn't care about Cedric Diggory. He jumped on the, the fangirl wagon because it was a fangirl wagon to be jumped upon. He does that's not funny. give a whip about Cedric Diggory. But he'll that's he'll funny, tell me he wants a Cedric Diggory tea. He's like, I want a Hufflepuff shirt, like like quitted shirt with Diggory. <laughs> Diggory on it. I'm like, no, you don't, but I'm gonna get him one. You just Yeah, yeah, exactly. I find one. I'm sure they're out there. But anyway, uh, so are, we're reading are. that and then I'm reading yeah, another sweet. story that I had started a while back, but it's one of these stories that kind of updates. Okay. And um I had read a lot of it and then I just I put it down for a while. I guess life got busy and all that kind of stuff. And then when I went back to it, I had like forgotten. I was like, who is this person? <laughs> Okay. And then, um, so I went back and I started reading again. It's called Omniscient Reader. Okay. And it's about this guy who read a book. Um, and as soon as the final chapter came out for the book, he read it. And then, and he was the only reader. And this book, the story that he had been reading had been going on for like over 10 years. And he kept up with it and he read it. He read every single installment of all of it. And it was like called Three Ways to Survive the Apocalypse. And then as soon as the last chapter hit, he read it 
And then the author emailed him and was like, I've noticed that you're my only reader. I sent him an email and was like, I have a gift for you and sent him the entire manuscript of this 10 year long book. And as soon as he sent it, like the book started. Do you know oh. what I'm saying? Like the oh. like it the started story in real life. Had, right. The story that he had been reading started I in real life. I love that. And then, I love that. But now he and then they have oh. all these, but it's kind of kind of like lit RPG where he is he has stats and he gets the screen and it's like he can manipulate he can get better strength or agility and he's got these special abilities like everybody's got a special ability okay and his is like the fourth wall so he's not affected by oh. like people trying to scare him or manipulate him or anything like that so he can like break the fourth wall okay that's cool so anyway it's really interesting because like he's the only one that knows what's going to happen in the book and so he's <laughs> trying to like change the ending while he's going that's or, and but so also fun. at the same time like That's become more powerful in so his cool. like for himself it's really neat it's it's really really fun read okay what so what is that what one called what is that one called um it's called omniscient reader okay by do you remember oh, sing and song i think is what it's called okay okay yeah I'm it's one totally of my checking um, that out yeah it's one of my my web tunes that i have and oh, i think there okay. might be a a, a web version i don't know i've okay. looked to try to find like the story because all of these are built off of stories that actually have been written they just put pictures to them okay okay oh that's so, fun yeah it's mm. it's really really neat I've, i really enjoy this story okay so, that's what that, i'm reading that is so fun it's okay fun. now you're you guys uh, you guys are um you're doing the uh, audiobooks, the Jim Dale narrated audiobook. Yes. Oh my gosh, he's so good. I know exactly. I swear he gets better <laughs> with every one of them too. He does. Yes. the The thing that uh, my friend and I we started uh, listening to Harry Potter books together uh, forever mm -hmm. ago, and uh, the thing that we commented on was the first movie came out, and uh, the um, uh, the actors, the, the audiobooks, uh, uh -huh. made the um, made the characters sound like all the characters, but the audiobooks had come out before the movies came out. So yeah, it's like the authors or the uh, actors like took from the audiobook. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So good. I know. So I good. absolutely love that. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if they like, if the, the casting directors had listened to the book, like the Jim Dale version. Yeah, maybe. They, Who knows? And they maybe had that in their head, like what they wanted every yeah. single character to sound like because of that. <laughs> Just that like that. that sounds fun yeah 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 <laughs> okay so uh for uh for the webtoons one how many stars out of 10 would you give that one? Oh man 10 out of 10 i 10 love out it 9.8 okay. uh, because it's, it's, it's some of the translation okay. some of the translations get a little weird but <laughs> man it's because it, it, it wasn't originally in english oh so really i see weird, i but, see yeah but it's really i mean you very rarely do you find anything like that. Sometimes you're just like, huh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> that I love that. Anything. I really love yeah. that. Yeah, it's a really good one. I'm really enjoying it. Okay. Oh, what about Harry Potter? What Overall, would you that? 10 out of 10, 10 whatever. Hey! 10 out of, 10. <laughs> of course, forever. <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry. Nine and three quarters. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Uh, Brian. <laughs> Brian went. No. <laughs> oh, my my friend Susan actually went to England. Uh, she went to uh whatever station it is that I can't remember right now. They have mm -hmm. a, a platform nine and three quarters set up in the train station. Yay! Isn't that fun? I want to go. I want to go so bad. <laughs> uh, I thought you would like that. I yeah. I do. I <laughs> okay, I so um, I I've got several books, but see for me. I have had a really hard time settling. So I've been listening to books like uh, without finishing anything. So um, I've Oof. got, uh, I've got yeah, been there. three box sets uh, that I, mm -hmm. um, that I started uh, one. I've got, uh, let's see, 18 hours left. Another, I have 80, eight zero hours left. And this is a box that's set. A, so that's it's a, a chunky series, book. Right? Well, it's that's a series, uh, as in, I believe, uh, six books. Yeah. Um, but let's see. I've got um, 
Let's see. That's another box While set. you're looking for that, I just want to note how, like, absolutely adorable your ponytail looks today. Oh, thank you. That was so peppy and fun. Oh, my I word. I'm glad yeah. you like it. I do. Oh, have you seen? Can you see my green? Green, green, green. I can't. Oh, my goodness. You have green hair. Sure. <laughs> oh, I love uh -huh. your green hair. My students love it too. It's just little <laughs> peekaboos, just little stripes. Little peekaboos. So That's a fun way to put it. <laughs> okay, okay. So, uh, the one of the uh, one of the parents. <laughs> one of the box sets that I've got is called Eve of Destruction. That's the uh, books one through six. Um, I'm still on book one, so there's eighty hours left. Um, it's by. Uh, Joe Jackson, and this one, uh, I'm not usually a um, I'm not usually an epic fantasy kind of person. I prefer urban fantasy, um, so it's harder for me to get into this. But uh, this is uh, it's taken place after an apocalypse, and uh, the apocalypse is the demon king uh, took over the world, and uh, so the main character is a demon hunter who is half demon. So uh, she, I believe she's got black skin and wings and uh, like purple hair or something. But um, I really like uh, the, the main characters right now are mostly half demons and they are, uh, they're um, trying to prevent another war with the uh, demon people uh, to, they're trying to prevent this. So it is interesting, and I am liking it, but I'm not loving it. Um, so it, like, I, I really, it's mostly, it's mostly just because I relate better to urban fantasy. But it mm -hmm. really is, it is well written. It's well read. Um, it is fun, but it's just, you know, if 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 it was in modern times. Uh, I would probably be more like fun. It yeah, yeah, uh -huh. exactly. So this isn't this isn't it. Uh, oh yes, that might Deans. be. That's a Cheryl and Kenyon. Okay, then this, it wouldn't be. Would you say the author's name was Joe? Uh, Joe Jackson, I believe. Mm, I'm not seeing Eve. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. It doesn't say destruction. It says redemption. Eve of Redemption, uh, by Joe Jackson. Oh man, I was down for Eve of Destruction. I was like, <laughs> Destruction, I'm there. Redemption, <laughs> eh. eh, eh, whatever. <laughs> okay, but then uh, there's this other one um, that I started. Uh, it, I pre-ordered it because I heard a lot about it on TikTok, and um, it's called Quicksilver, and that one's by uh, Callie Hart, and. Um, this one is a uh, uh it's also epic uh, epic fantasy um but this is a human civilization uh that is on a very dry uh desolate planet and the lower class is only allowed like uh, a cup of water a day and uh their water is dirty and know. filthy i know exactly their water is uh it's disgusting and uh so this girl uh is stealing water uh from the uh palace where they have more but it's still you know they don't have enough and uh she ends up getting caught and uh then she's taken to a fey realm and i it it sounds more fun than it is right now i'm just annoyed with the main character i find her obnoxious <laughs> <laughs> but um it's just it it is fun um but uh it's quicksilver and it really is interesting she's got she's a human who has a special power and uh the fae just the fae mm -hmm. consider her nothing because it says they... it's a blistering hot romance blistering oh my word uh, I <laughs> so nothing you would read <laughs> no i'm sitting here going i see why she picked this up <laughs> actually that wasn't that wasn't why i picked that up i i picked it you up could... because somebody recommended um, it okay <laughs> yeah. who would who would do such things who would do such a thing but the, the no, TikTok i'm sitting here community... going okay i'll look at it <laughs> no, no. 
Yeah, I, I'm not a fan. I am we, not we've, really a We big know fan. about my forays into the <laughs> smut, okay? They are not fun. <laughs> if anybody has a, an actually good smutty <laughs> recommendation, I, I'm willing to give it a shot. Okay. But I don't think that I'm a good judge of what's good smut. No, so, no, I would say you're probably not. <laughs> no, because I've tried twice now, okay? <laughs> twice now, and both of them were horrid. Oh. Right. Remember that that Peter Pan one? Yeah. Oh, I don't even want to think about. The have Peter you Pan ever one. read that Peter Pan one? Yes, I have. Um, not I you, uh, oh, Ryan. One. Ryan. Ryan. Yeah. No. Oh. What oh. was it called? I think it was, it was hooked. Was it hooked? No. No. That no, wasn't no, no, it? No. it. I don't remember. So. Magic Mike. Have... <laughs> no, not Magic no. Mike. Wasn't okay, hold on. I had one more though. I had yeah, one yeah, more. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm I had to another this box set. Uh, this is a Supernatural Security Force box set. And uh, that one is by Heather Hildebrandt. And that one is a lot of fun. Uh, it's, um, it is urban fantasy. So it's, um, it's a modern setting. Uh, they are, um, the, I believe the world does know about the uh, creatures. So they're, yes, they do. The world does know about uh, all the supernatural creatures and the supernatural security force uh, is head up, headed up by Nephilim. And uh, the Nephilim are, uh, they're in control of the world, uh, but they are not actually fallen angels. They are angels who were sent to Earth to save them from the demons that they were being attacked by. And then uh, they are something <laughs> i can't i can't give away too much because uh, that would that that spoilers but it actually is a lot of fun and i have enjoyed this author's writing and there is absolutely no smut there is suggestions oh, okay. of dirty things but I there like is that. no dirty things i'm there so for that. you might dig that you might like that I one. Might. and you said it was <laughs> angels and demons uh yes it is uh Nephilim yes. and demons and yes. witches and uh, there yeah. are vampires too. Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, so, Supernatural Security Force, H Heather Hildebrand. I think Heather you would really Hildebrand. like that one. Supernatural Security Force. I am mm -hmm. so there for like angels and demons. <laughs> I Can't knew you would be. Yes. I am. I am. Okay. <laughs> it was called The Vicious Lost Boys. Are you sure? Uh, well, no. Yeah, I'm looking at it. Remember, it was oh, the you're darling right. oh, woman. Hold on, hold on. The, that was that was over here. This was the first one, the Never King. Never King, that's right. Okay. Yeah, and so it has was, something to I, do with all the darling women. Yeah. Remember, because yes, their yes, last yes. name is Darling. Yeah. So, yes. Oh, that's clever. Wendy Darling. And uh, for two centuries, all the darling women have disappeared on their 18th birthday. Sometimes oh. they're gone for only a day, some a week or month, but they always return broken. Oh, yeah, what an uplifting story. And it's oh no, and really it's because bad, Ryan. Oh yeah, and Hook <laughs> Hook kidnaps them, takes them, and then they do horrible things. No, 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 no. That's Peter no. Pan who kidnaps them. Yeah. Oh, that's what I mean. Peter Pan. <laughs> Peter Pan Peter is, Pan a, is not I, a good guy. I was guy. in the now about. No, he is not. Peter Pan. Peter Pan is, Pan is, not is a, a bad guy. guy. He is a filthy mongrel. But so is the main character girl. Uh -huh. Like she's disgusting. She is really and, gross. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I could and, and like, I, read, I want to I like read the story. dirty books and I yeah. hated this book. I hated I, it. Can can you imagine <laughs> me? Well, well, you, me? You little you. This story? <laughs> and I'm just like <laughs> Oh my yeah. god, but I wanted to what I said that I did. <laughs> I had a complex back then where, like, I couldn't not finish a book. Oh, okay. I no longer have that complex. You no longer do. I understand. If it doesn't make me happy, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do it. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to read it. I'm going to put it down and I'm going to choose something else because okay. I'm at a point in my okay. life where I don't have time for unhappiness. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm too so, uh, up for this with the with the with the books that I just uh, that I just did for the uh, the supernatural security force. I would give it like nine out of ten. Um, right now, um, Eve of Eve of Redemption. I'm mm -hmm. only I'm only 
partway into the first book and I would give it like six or seven, but I'm, I'm, I'm leaning toward the upward. It, it's better than, it's better than uh, the last so one. It's kind of like I, up arrow on it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Seven like, and rising. Seven and rising. Exactly. <laughs> maybe six, maybe, maybe 6.72, yeah. 6.72 and rising. Yeah. I knew but, a 6.72 was going to come out <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. The other one. Hold on. Now my phone doesn't recognize my face. Okay. Um, oh, the the Quicksilver. Oh, I technology. really don't like the main character. I don't like her. Um, and I don't like the uh, love interest dude. Uh, but, I mean, maybe he'll grow on me. But she, I don't think she's going to grow on me. Well, they're definitely going to grow on each other. They really, really are, apparently. <laughs> but yeah, they, they seem pretty perfect for each other because they're both dicks. <laughs> that's not how that works. Uh, that's really the only way that's to put usually it. how that works. <laughs> All right, kids. Let's. Uh, the, I used a naughty word. No, let's not. Yeah. Let's not take this to rated R. <laughs> yes, mom. Thank y'all. Okay. Thank y'all. <laughs> oh shucks. Oh shucks. Okay, so uh, we we got to close this out. Hmm. But um, just uh, is there anything that you guys are uh, planning on reading that you haven't mentioned? Hmm. I am I don't know. started. Oh, what did you Such start? Sharp Teeth by Rachel hmm. Harrison. It's okay. um werewolf novel. Oh my goodness! Look at you! Yeah. Look at you! <gasps> Yay so for proud. personal growth! <laughs> <laughs> and she's like a prominent guest on one of the podcasts I listened to. Okay, and I think okay. she's like from Upper Western New York, so. Some of the things she writes about, like Syracuse, Rochester, Buffalo, it's kind of cool. That's fun. I think she lives in New York City now, but okay, okay. Originally, I think so. <laughs> That's yeah. so cool. That's yeah. really neat. <clears throat> so right, far, it's well, really it's... good. I don't. I'm not super familiar with all the tropes of werewolves, other than the okay. Michael Jackson thriller video. Like that's it. <laughs> oh my word! Yeah. Like, you, did I'm talk- you did not just say that. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> at the beginning of the thriller, with he turns in. Oh. oh, American Werewolf in London. I've seen that, but it's been a while, so it's not super. <sighs> it hurts super my fresh, heart. It, just, it hurts my heart. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh yeah i've read so many vampire video. werewolf books it just makes me sad man <laughs> that's, video. that's true very funny uh mm-hmm. all right well uh just uh be sure and keep us posted on uh, how you feel about werewolves and uh and so yeah I Andy. Uh, hey that's cool yeah that's yeah. very mm-hmm. fun all right so i i'll have some recommendations for you then <laughs> okay <laughs> Yes, okay. is it smut? Not, is no. It smutty? no, dude. Werewolf no. smut. <laughs> there is some. I, I people have, have that. People have I, needs. If, people if, have if needs. you can think okay. it up, <laughs> it exists. Yeah. Oh, let me There's got to be werewolf. I'm going to be. Okay. After we, I'm gonna wear, okay, kids. Werewolf okay. smut. <laughs> hey, Google. Pull up. Yeah. I'm kidding. That's I'm pretty kidding. funny. <laughs> Okay, well, anyways, all right. <laughs> so uh, we, we will probably uh, meet again, what, next week? You you guys cool for next week? Next week's Thanksgiving. Oh, oh. right. Okay, never mind yes. on that then. <laughs> Maybe not. Okay, well. Happy well, Thanksgiving, we'll everyone. Happy, Happy Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving. yes. Happy Thanksgiving. And, uh, I'm yeah. always ready to give thanks for being your assistant. Yeah, my Google just... <laughs> <laughs> I said, hey, Google, and she answered well, me. Well, I mean, <laughs> you did, like, though. Oh, well, I mean. Yours is a yeah. lot nicer than mine. <laughs> I have um, the Australian accent for all my voices. Oh, that's fun. There's a story behind it, but it's not really appropriate. It oh, involves the Caleb's Louis, not then. <laughs> it involves the St. Louis PD, though. So, Metro PD. Excuse me, okay. Metro PD. Okay, okay. All right, we gotta go. <laughs> right. So keep keep reading, keep reading, everybody. Yeah, I am the keep reading. I enjoy it. Okay, good. All right, all right. So I will talk to you guys later, and have a lovely Thanksgiving. Yeah. Bye. Happy Bye. Thanksgiving. Bye, Thanksgiving. <laughs>